All right, y'all. Sylvia Johnson, Dane Rozier. That's my sister-in-law for life. How are you? Thank you for stopping through. Hey, guys, we get ready to kick off our Monday Motivational Power Talk. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are on set and on pace to having a phenomenal week. But we're going to go ahead and get started, folks. Here we go. If it's going to be, it's up to me to fulfill my dreams and possibilities with dedication and motivation to inspire thousands from all nations. When times are tough and breaks you down, just smile with toughness and rebuild from the ground. During tough times, adversity is a lot. Just remember, time flies, but you are the pilot. Good evening, folks. Jay Hunter Lee here. This is our Monday Motivational Power Talk. Today is October the 22nd, 2018. 9.03 p.m. Folks, I hope you guys have had a phenomenal year because the year went fast. And I tell people, man, you can waste your time all you want, but let me tell you, at the end of the day, <laughs> time is not waiting, folks. Hey, to my cousin, Jocelyn Price, how are you, cousin buzzing? <laughs> Thank you for stopping through, folks. Listen, we got uh, down here in, in Tampa, in the Tampa Bay area, I, I, we, I'm involved with the St. Petersburg Business League. I'm one of the board members on the St. Petersburg Business League. This coming Thursday, we have in our second mixer, okay? Now, we meet every month, but we have our mixer every other month. And this is the month we have in our mixer. And our mixer, folks, is going to be at Hotel Zamora on the rooftop. It is beautiful. It is right on St. Pete Beach on a rooftop. We'll be able to see all the water all around us. It is a beautiful sight to see. Hello, Tamika Barber. Thank you for stopping through, folks. So if you're in the Tampa Bay area, make sure you come out this Thursday at 6.30 p.m., for those of you in the Tampa Bay area, to our business mixer. We have the be of the St. Petersburg Business League, and we help those who are entrepreneurs, those who want to be entrepreneurs, because this is the age where you have to have some sort of business of your own, folks. If you just have, if you're an employee and that's your only, only stream of income, you are a sitting duck. The middle class is shrinking, folks. So come on out to the St. Petersburg Business League Mixer this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. And we're going to be on the rooftop of Hotel Zamora. Inbox me if you need more information or if you need more uh, uh, information in terms of how to get there, the address, and all that kind of stuff. It's a straight shot right over to St. Pete. If you go to St. Pete Beach, you practically right by Hotel Zamora. We're going to be right on the rooftop and join ourselves in in, in, in you know, spending time with heavy hitters, spending time with like-minded individuals who are who are not entertainment-based but education-based. You know, <clears throat> and I'm also working on another project in this area called the Watch Party. We're going to be watching Think and Grow Rich, the original book by Napoleon Hill. They have came out with a movie for it. Um, Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, Bob Proctor, all are involved. Hey, how you doing, Stephanie Wynn? <clears throat> So, folks, if you are in the area this Thursday, come out to Hotel Zamora, our mixer right on the rooftop. We having a phenomenal time here this week. So um, what I want to talk to you guys about this evening is how bad do you want to succeed? How bad do you want to succeed? You know, if your excuses outweigh your efforts, you will not succeed, folks. I promise you, you will not succeed. Those are the type of people who sit back and say, I can't wait for such and such to happen so that I can do this. I can't wait for this to go down so that I can do these things. Folks, it will almost never happen. Whatever you're waiting for to happen for you in order for you to move forward with what you want to accomplish, it ain't going to happen. So... <clears throat> You got to want it as bad as you want to, as you want oxygen. Have you ever 
needed oxygen before? Have you ever been without air? You're trying to get air, you're trying to get your wind, and you wanted oxygen. Oxygen is the most is the is the is the biggest thing in the world you want at that moment, right? There's a story been told several different ways, but the way that I know it is an old a young warrior in Africa wanted to know the secret to success. So he was pointed to a hill. So you go up this hill, you will find an old sage, and that old sage will tell you what the secret of success is. So this young warrior goes up the hill and he finds this old sage. Old sage is sitting in front of his house in his rocking chair, just relaxing, living good, living his best life. <laughs> so the young warrior walks up to him. The old sage said, young man, what is it? What can I do for you? And the young warrior says to him, I was told to come up here because you can tell me what the, what the secret of success is. And the, and the old sage says, really? You really want to know the secret of success? To success. The young warrior says yes because I want to succeed in anything I do. So the, the old sage get out of his rocking chair and tell these young warrior, come and walk with me, son. And they walk down to a body of water. And as they walk into the warrior, into the water, the old sage tells the young warrior, walk out in the water with me. So the, the warrior, a little confused, say, I just want to know an answer. Walk, but he walks out into the water with the old sage. And the old sage says, keep walking, keep walking. And as the further they go out, the deeper the water was getting. And when they got to the water, the water was like this high, <laughs> almost by the warrior's mouth. The old sage took his hand, put it on the warrior's head, and shoved him down in the water and held him there as long as possible. And the young warrior was underwater fighting. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, the old sage let the warrior back up out of the water. The young warrior was like, you know, the, you know the routine when somebody been underwater, they get up from air. <laughs> so the old sage asked the young warrior, young man, when you were underwater, what is it that you wanted the most? The young warrior turned to him and said, you old fool, I wanted to breathe. So the old sage replies to him and says, well, young man, when you find, when you want success as bad as you wanted to breathe, then you found the secret to success. So folks, you have to want it as bad as you want oxygen. You got to want it as bad as an old man wanting soft shoes. <laughs> So I'm sharing this information with you folks because people say all the time what they want in life. They want to achieve these things. They want to do this and they want to do that, but they aren't willing to take the hit that life is going to throw at them. You're going to get thrown curved balls, folks. With my company, Wang Global, there's not one person, not talking about my cousin who was the president, outside of my own cousin. There has anybody who have came involved with my company, not one person, not one person have not thrown us a curveball. Now, I'm still in the trenches. I'm still going to succeed. Why? Because I want this as bad as I want oxygen. Curveballs can be hit, folks. You just have to adjust your swing. Mm, put that in the comments. Curveballs can be hit. You just have to adjust your swing. And I've had plenty of people involved with my company this year. And not one of them, not none of them, through a straight ball, all of them through curveballs. And let me tell you something, they threw curveballs right at the heat of, moment, of the moment. As soon as they were expected to do exactly what they said they would do, the ball curve. If you look at 
a baseball game. If you see a pitcher throw a curveball, the curveball doesn't curve as soon as it leaves the pitcher's hand. The curveball curves as soon as it's just about to get his strike across the, the home plate. That's why the batter swings and misses it. See, it doesn't curve the, the second that this leaves my hand. It curves on the batter side. That's where the curve happens at. So how does the batter, how would the batter hit the curveball? He got to adjust the, the swing of the curveball. Adjust the swing. You can't hit it the same way you hit every other ball. Because every other person that comes in contact with you, comes in contact with you, is not going to throw a straight ball. They're going to throw a curveball. They're going to throw a different curveball. They're going to throw a curveball that goes to the curve, curve to the left. One curve to the light, to the right. One curves downward. One curves upward. But you're not going to have not one person to throw you a straight ball. They will not be a straight shooter with you. They're going to bullshit you every single time. That's the nature of business, people. But you overcome it. It's not a skill set that you need to overcome that. It is desire. It is hunger. It is the will to win. It is wanting success as bad as you want oxygen. Because that's exactly what it is going to take, folks. It doesn't take a PhD. It doesn't take an MBA or a bachelor's. It takes hardcore grit. Time spent at night when everybody else is asleep. And let me tell you something. My why is so big, folks. My why has always been my mom, who has always been my shero. Everything, I feel like Abraham Lincoln, when Abraham Lincoln said, all that I am today and the man that I hope to become, I owe it to my mom. And my mom has passed away in 2012. Who I am, who I am today and who I hope to become, I owe it to my mom. She is my shero. She is my why. She is my driving force. And let me tell you something. Anyone who comes up against that is going to lose. Anyone who comes up against that is going to lose. I don't care what your skill set is. Your skill set will never overtake my why. People don't die for their skill set, but you would die for your why. You know, it said if your why don't make you cry, it ain't big enough. So how bad do you want to succeed, folks? How bad do you really want oxygen when you need it? What are the trials and tribulations you're willing to go through to get to where you want to be in life? Because here's what you got to understand. You will never get to where you want to be. If you stay where you are and if your XC, if your excuses is here and your efforts is down here, you will never succeed. You will be in the same place. You will be amongst the same people complaining and bitching about life. You will be about this around the same people who talks about negatively about other people all the time. You will be about other people around other people who are complaining that life is not fair to them. You will be amongst everybody who wants to blame their failures and their lack of success on the likes of the Donald Trumps and the Kanye West. You will be amongst those type of people. Those people are losers, folks. Losers, losers, losers. And let me tell you why. See, we all fall in life, folks. We all fall in life. But you're not a loser until you say someone pushed you. And those people are the ones who always sit around claiming someone pushed them. At the end of the day, it is up to me. If it's going to be, it's up to me. At the end of the day, you are the one that's held accountable. You're the one that's have to look in the eyes and the face of your children and tell them why you did or did not succeed for them are you willing to go through the test 
Because if you don't, if you never been tested, folks, how the hell can you have a testimony? What is the first word in testimony? Test. No test, no testimony. You're talking to a, you're looking at a guy who was laid off from his last job at a law firm in Washington, D.C. the very next day after my mom passed away. You're talking about a testimony. A testimony calls for a paradigm shift. A, te a testimony calls for true grit. A testimony calls for strict, 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 hell-bound war, hell-bound action. I'm talking about all massive action. Hello, Yolanda. Yolanda, how are you? Hello, um, uh, Amber Johnson. How you doing? Thank you for coming through. So how bad do you really want it, folks? People don't want it that bad. They only want it bad enough to moan and groan about the things that they don't like in their life. Instead of crying for a better man, won't you be a better woman? Instead of complaining about having uh, not having a better woman, won't you be a better man? Instead of crying about how much is not in your bank account, why don't you uplift your desire to make more money? Stop being a, a whiny, hiney thumb sucker. Take the nipple out of your mouth. Because at the end of the day, it is you and only you that's going to make the difference in your life. I can't do that for you. I can only encourage you and give you some knowledge that I've been that's been passed down to me. And I don't make this up, folks. I've studied, I read books constantly. I watch videos of people who are influential to me, like Lisa Nichols, Tony Robbins, Gary Vaynerchuk. Bob Proctor, John C. Maxwell, Brian Tracy. Those who are even those who have passed away, such as Zig Ziglar and Zip and Jim Rohn. As well as those who are still alive, like Darren Hardy. Studying, folks, studying, being better. If you're not reading, you will not grow. If you open up a book, it resembles something that flies. You won't fly if you ain't reading. You will never soar with eagles if you're running around with pigeons. Y'all not hear me. What time is it, folks? Got 10 minutes left. You, but you guys not hear me. You're not going to have somebody that's going to be a straight shooter to you unless they are totally in with your vision. See, people throw you curveballs because they only involve for their own vision, not yours. They want to get from yours so that they can feed their own. That's not a visionary. That's not a visionary. A visionary brings from the spiritual realm and make it manifest in the physical realm. A visionary is not a thief. That's why those who take somebody else's invention and try to use it of their own don't seem to have the same success as the original. Have you ever seen so many Groups, organizations, movies, businesses become spinoff or knockoffs and they don't have the same success as the original. Why? Because they try to take somebody else's idea and run off and try to create their own with it. And then most time it don't work. Why it doesn't work? Because it's not how the universe is set up. How come the government never pull anybody out of property, out of property? Because that's not how the universe is set up. You have to pull yourself out of poverty. You have to create your own visions. That's why the music today is not as good as music yesterday. Why? Because the music today is copying off the original music. The original music is always better. Come on, folks. You guys understand what I'm saying? Right? And that's not an opinion. 
You can share the same music from to these millennials or, or, or the Generation Zs. Say, this is where this, they stole this song from and let them hear the original song. I said, forget the fact that these people are rapping. Don't listen to the rap and don't listen to the lyrics because you ain't gonna understand that from back then. But listen to the music. Creativity. Les Brown once said, we were all born unique, but most of us die as copies. Why is that? Because they don't have the burning desire to succeed. They don't want to be a mogul. I'm not talking about a champion. I'm talking about a mogul. What is the difference? A champion breaks records. A mogul breaks barriers. You guys hear me now? You get is this is this helpful? If this is helpful, just put that in the comments. Say thank you. This is helpful. If I'm helping you right now, put this in the comments, folks. And share this. Make sure you share this video. Even if this video isn't something that is helpful to you, if, if you are above your if your knowledge is above what I'm sharing right now, that's fine. But share with somebody because you know somebody this video will help. Share it. Share it in some groups. It's the house I'm looking at. This house is located in Terra Verde, Florida. It's on sale for, I think it's 2.3, 2.3 million. And there are homes like this all the time down here for sale. I'm not going to pay $2.3 million for it. It's not going to be the deal that I'm going to get. No way, Jack. See, people sell homes, folks. They always want to get what they want out of it, not what it's worth. <laughs> and it's a beautiful house. It's a beautiful house. This, this is the backyard. This is the backyard. The pool, my right dear, all that good stuff. That's the backyard, and it and it goes out to a boat dock right there off the off the Gulf of Mexico. <clears throat> now, I, why <clears throat> I was supposed to go look at the house uh, sun yesterday morning, I didn't make it, but it's not going anywhere. But I'm sharing it with you folks because. How bad do I really want that house? Would determine how soon I would, or if I'll actually get it, or or one like it. You understand what I'm saying, folks? <clears throat> but here's the most important part. My desires is actually bigger than the house. This is not my desire. This is just a reward. This is just a reward I will give myself. This is not my desire. My desire is helping you. <coughs> I helped the young lady within the last month get her business rejuvenated. She has a cleaning service. Got her website up. Her, web her website is phenomenal. I got her logo done for her. Her logo is phenomenal. Got helped her go through the process of getting registered in the state of Florida. She got her LLC. She also has insurance for her company so she can hire. Phenomenal business mind. Went through my mentoring program. I got two months mentoring program all the way up to a, 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 a year mentoring program. She went through my two month mentoring program and she's already making profit. And she's not finished with my mentoring program. <coughs> you see, folks, she had the desire to win. Those are the type of people I work with. I don't care how much money you have. I'm not interested in your money. I'm interested in your hunger. If you want to win, you can pay for one of my mentoring programs and you will win. 
That's a guarantee. But if you're not hungry enough to do it, keep your money. I don't want to waste, I don't want to spend no time with you folks. I ain't looking for no punks. I'm looking for those who are hungry. I'm looking for those who want to make that first step that take that investment in themselves so that they can see that return come back quick. But you got to listen. You got to do exactly what I tell you to do. This person did not argue. This person did not <clears throat> lead astray of what I told them what to do. This person also did not <clears throat> do any of that stuff. And at the end of the day, this person is winning already. It's not and not even completed, haven't even completed my program yet, my two-month program. And I know I can help anybody do what they want to do, but you got to have the hunger. You got to have the, the will to win. See, so so you gotta have you gotta want success as bad as you want oxygen, people. And and now because this person is winning, I'm winning. <laughs> This person has to have somebody who's seen their product is asking for me now. Can they do this for me? Yes, Jay can do it for you, but you have to go through his mentoring program. Contact him, consult with him. Consult, consultation is free. I will consult with you for free. After that, you gotta pay for the mentoring program. And I went, and you got to tell me, I wanna know your number, I wanna know what you wanna do, I wanna know how soon you wanna start making money. Because I my programs are designed to help you do all of the above. But you gotta want it bad enough, folks. You gotta want to win bad enough. So this is all I'm gonna share with you folks. We got two minutes left. I want you guys to do me one big favor. Share this video with those who are in your family, your friends, say it in different groups that you're in. If it's not a video that's helping you or have helped you, you know somebody that this video will help. Don't be selfish, don't be a hater, share it, even if it's not for you. And that's one thing people don't, this is why people are not winning, folks. Share it, okay? No one wins selfishly, okay? So share the video. And one last thing, I want you to do me one bigger favor, and that is to sing like no one can hear you. Dance like no one can see you, love like you've never been hurt, and live like it's heaven on earth. I'm Jay Lee. I love you, and the world needs you. So stop that damn texting and driving. Peace and blessings, folks. Have a marvelous day.